let's get started with this high intensity interval training. We're gonna start with some mobility. Take the feet right outside of the hips and then slowly forward fold, reaching the hands for the feet. Tuck the chin and look behind you and take a second to just hang out here. Let the hips wake up. Let the back of the legs turn on. Maybe shake out the head and neck. Good, we're gonna pull the heels in and sit down into a deep squat, pointing the toes out. We wanna open up through the hips. I want you to make sure that your entire foot is flat to the ground. We don't wanna be up on the tiptoes. Letting the hips sink and open up. Good, we're gonna reach the right arm up. And then once it's here, we're gonna pull it back. I want you to pull the arm back until you feel the shoulder open up and the chest wake up. Good, bring it down. Left hand goes high. And then you'll reach it back to wake up the shoulder and the chest. Good, bring it down. The hips go high, straighten the legs and point the toes forward. Take that fold and then slowly roll to the top, rounding the spine to wake up the back. Big shoulder roll at the top. Good. We're gonna wake up our core and practice some balance. On the right leg, I want you to put all of your weight. You're gonna reach the left hand down for that right foot. Take your time, go slow, and then stand tall. We're gonna step the left foot out and take it into a lunge and turn on that right inner thigh. So we're here. The knee stays stacked over the toe, and by doing that, you'll Push the hip back. Good, you'll step it in. We're gonna do that again. Reach the left hand down for the right foot. Find your deadlift. Waking up the core and the glutes and the hamstrings. And once you're back up top, you're gonna to step out to the left, waking up that right inner thigh. Very good, step it in. One more time. Find that deadlift, so you'll either kick that left leg back, or just leave it set to the floor. All my weight is on my right leg. Finding our balance, push the hips back, reaching the left hand down, and then stand tall and step out to the side. Waking up that adductor muscle on the right side. Good, step it in. We go left. A view from the side. We find that deadlift on the left side. Keep the back flat, squeeze the core and then stand tall. You'll step out to the right for that lunge in order to wake up that inner thigh. Make sure you push the hip back and that knee stays behind the toe. Let's do that again. Deadlift on the left side and lunge to the right. Mobility, making sure our joints have room to move and our muscles are awake. Good, find the deadlift. Take your time. We're going out to the lunge. We've got one more of those. Find that deadlift. Waking up our balance early. If you need to restart, that's okay. Take your time. We'll speed this up and get the heart rate going in just a minute. Working through some mobility. Good, take it to the back of your mat. Bend the knees so that you can Fold and connect your hands to the floor. Opening up the low back. We're gonna walk the hands out to a plank. Find your plank here, squeeze your core, and then step the left foot up to the outside of the left hand. We're gonna reach that left hand up. World's greatest stretch. Let's wake up that right hip flexor and the right calf. Good, bring it down. Step it back. Left foot steps up or right, I think I did that backwards. Let's reach the right arm high. Find the twist, feel that left hip flexor turn on. Good, bring the hand down, step it back and walk the hands in to meet the feet. We're gonna slowly roll to the top, round to the spine. Give me a shoulder roll once you get there. 
All right, another balance. We're gonna lift the left knee up high and hold, and then we're gonna swing it out to the side. Take it around to the back, and then find yourself in a lunge, dropping that left knee down, waking up the hip flexor. We're gonna to twist to the right. Waking up the core. Good, step it in. Right knee high. Find your balance. And then when you're ready, take the knee out, around the back, and then dip that right knee down towards the ground, finding a lunge. We're gonna to twist to the left this time. So we've got one more on each side. Left knee high. Swing it up. Around and back. Drop that left knee down towards the ground and then twist to the right. Good, step it in. Last one. Right knee high. Swing it up. Around to the back. Take your time. You should be off balance, it's okay. And when you're ready, you'll drop that right knee down and twist to the left. Great job, shake it out. We're gonna get the heart rate up. Let's take it right into a light jump rope. A little bounce on the ball of the feet. We're gonna take this jump rope to some heel kicks in three, two, one. Kick the heel hop. Now, if you need to modify and the jump doesn't work for you, you need a low impact version, you can stay right here, kicking the heel up. Otherwise, we're here. Three, two, one. We're gonna bring the knees high. If that doesn't work, you can take a march or a skip. For five seconds, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna skate from side to side. Hopping from one side to the other. Finding balance. Good. Three, two, and one. We've got some jumping jacks. Getting that heart rate up. And if you need to modify, you can step and tap. So we take it right back to that jump rope. One more round. We're going for heel kicks in three, two, one. I'm going low impact. If you want higher impact, take it to a jog in place as you kick the heel high. For five, four, three, two, and one, we've got high knees. Now you can run, you can march, or you can skip. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one, we skate. One side to the other. For five seconds, three, two, and one, we've got jumping jacks, this is it. If you're gonna modify, you're right here. And relax. Nice shot. Heart rate should be elevated. That's what we're looking for in class today. Even when you modify, you're able to get the heart rate up. So don't be afraid of that. And know that we will take breaks. We want to get our heart rate up. We'll keep it there, but then we'll bring it down before we get started on to the next thing. Our first block of work. We have three moves. We're going to work 40 seconds on, and we'll take 20 seconds off. After those three moves, we'll take a, a break however long it takes to get the heart rate down to normal, and then we'll go again. Almost normal. All right, we've got four jumping jacks into four mountain climbers. Now, the challenging way to do this is you're gonna go from those jumping jacks, jump back into your plank, and take four sets of mountain climbers. Or to modify, 
you'll step back into your plank and take slow mountain climbers. Totally up to you. It will get your heart rate up either way. We've got 40 seconds. We're gonna go in five, three, two, and one. Give me four jumping jacks. And then take it to your plank, step or jump. And you've got four sets of mountain climbers. If you're modifying, you'll step right back into the four jumping jacks and back into the four mountain climbers. More than halfway there, back to the jumping jack. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice job, we've got a 20 second break. Catch your breath. We go in 10 seconds, we have a reverse lunge. We're gonna step back with the left leg into a reverse lunge. I want it to be more of a sprint and we're gonna pop the knee up. You can drive the knee or jump, it's up to you. Let's go. Left foot back. Here's your starting position. You'll drive that knee up with a little hop or just drive the knee. We stay with the left side. Take your time. 40 seconds is a long time. We're already halfway there. Take that sprint position. Make sure that back knee is bent and you're leaning over that front leg and the arms are long. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Catch your breath. We've got that 20 second break, which is now 10. The right leg will go back. You can jump or take it low impact in three, two, one. Right leg back. Find that spread position and pop that right knee up. Take your time to find that starting position and then drop. If you get off balance, it's okay. Just restart. And if you want to take a modification, drive the knee and keep that left foot planted to the floor. We're already halfway there. Less than 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice job, shake it out. Catch your breath. We've got that 20 second break. We take it to a plank. We've got four shoulder taps, and then we open up to a side plank, both directions. Let's go, find that plank. Shoulder tap for four, and then open up to a side plank. Go to the other side. Back to the front. If you want to modify this, the knees stay down. You'll tap for one, two, three, four. For that side plank, you'll keep that bottom knee down and rotate open. Come back to center and rotate to the other side. Modify or take full plank. Three, two, and one. Very good, take a second. Nice job. Heart rate might not be super high right now, and that's okay. This is our first circuit, and maybe it is hot. We're gonna take a full break in between each round. So we've got two more rounds, just like that. You know the moves, you can challenge yourself, or again, modify when you need to. We're gonna go in 10 seconds, back to that jumping jack. Three, two, one. You've got four jumping jacks. To four mountain climbers, jump or step. More than halfway there.
three, two, and one. Take a break. Catch your breath. Intervals. Include breaks. We've got that reverse lunge plyo. We'll start with the left leg in five. Let's go. Left leg back, find the spread position, and then pop it up. Make sure you find that starting position. Make sure that back knee stays bent. Reach the arms long in front and back. If, when your right knee is forward, your left arm is forward, and as you pop up, you swing through. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, shake it out. That 20 second break, we have 10 seconds left, and we'll go to the right side. In five, four, three, two, and one. Find that spread position. And then pop up, swinging the arms through. If you're modifying, you're just gonna drive that right knee high and keep that left foot planted to the floor. Halfway there, we've got 20 seconds. Take your time. Work on your balance. We've got 10 seconds. Squeeze your core if you get off balance. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Take a little breather. We got 20 seconds. And then we start with that plank in less than 10. Meet me in your high plank, knees or toes, up to you. Find it. We've got four shoulder taps. To a side plank, reach up, take it back to a high plank and then reach to the opposite side plank. Back to the center for four shoulder taps. Open up to the side. Doesn't matter which side is first. Just make sure you go to both. We've got 10 seconds. Take your time. If you're modifying that bottom knee is down for three, two, and one. Nice job. Take a breather. Let's catch our breath. Good job guys, that's two rounds down. We've got one more to go. And then we'll switch up the moves. Let's let that heart rate come all the way down. If it's still high when we get started, take a longer break. We're gonna start in 20 seconds with our final round. We're going back to the jumping jacks, into the plank with the mountain climbers in 10 seconds. Last round, best round. Give it your best shot here in three, two, one. Four jumping jacks. Find your plank, four sets of mountain climbers. More than halfway there. In five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Catch your breath. Enjoy your break. It's 20 seconds. Can we get right back in? to reverse lunge.
Let's go. Left leg back. Find that sprint position. Modify, you're gonna drive the knee high and swing the arms. If you're taking the challenge, that left knee comes up and that right foot pops from the floor. Squeeze your core, find your starting position first, and then bring it up. We've got 10 seconds. Form is the most important thing. Keep it safe. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Big deep breaths. We're going to the right side in 10 seconds. Remember, last set, best set. In three, two, and one. You can modify. Just drive the knee. Find that starting position. We're halfway there. We've got 20 seconds. In 10, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. You should feel that in the glutes, maybe a little bit in the quad, definitely in the breath. Take it down and find your plank. Knees or toes, we go in five seconds with four shoulder taps, opening up to side plank, let's go. Open up to one side, take it to the center, and open up to the opposite side. Halfway there. If you're modifying, you're down on the knees. We've got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Let's take a break. Catch your breath, grab some water, and get ready for some new moves. We're gonna take it to a ladder. A ladder means we start low and we go high. We're gonna start with one move of every exercise. We're gonna go all the way up to five. So we'll do one of all the moves. Then we'll do two, then we'll do three, four, five. We'll take it back down, five, four, three, two, and one. We've got four moves. We have a forward bound. You'll jump from one side of your mat to the other, landing softly in a squat position. We've got eccentric push-ups where we lay down all the way to the floor and then push it up. We've got up and overs, shuffling from one side of our mat, jumping up and over. And we have commandos where we go from a high plank to a low plank. This one is not timed. It is at your own pace. If you wanna go faster than me, go for it. If you wanna stay with me, please do. I'll guide you along the way. Heart rate should be back to normal. If it's not, take a little bit longer break and then jump in. Our first round, everything is one. So for the forward bound, you're gonna pull your hips back, bring the arms back and hop to the top of your mat, landing with the arms, reaching out front, hips back. You'll back pedal. That was one. We take it to that eccentric push-up. Come down to your mat. If you wanna modify, you'll be on your knees or you'll be on your toes the challenge. Find your plank first and then you're going to lower down slow to the mat and then push it up. That was one. Bring it back to your feet. We have the up and over. We're going to start down in a squat, reaching the hands out. You'll jump up. The arms come up and you'll jump over, landing here. 
That was one. We have a commando, take it back to your plank. High plank here, take it to a low plank, bring it back to the high plank. That's one. Those are our moves. We just did one of everything. We're going to two. We have two forward bounds. Start with the hips back, hands back. Spring forward and back pedal. Good. We have eccentric push up, bring it down. Knees or toes up to you. Slowly lower down and then push it up. Again. Good. Make your way back up for those up and overs. We've got two. We start with our hips down and back, hands long, up and over. The arms come up overhead and then you land in a squat. That was two. We've got commandos. High plank to low plank. Find the high, go low. That was one. Down and up, that's two. Bring it to your feet. Moving right along, we've got three of each move. Bring the hips back, hands back. Pop it forward. Back pedal. If that jump does not work for you, go one foot at a time and step. Good. Bring it down. We've got three eccentric push ups. Now, this one I'm going to modify for you. Lower down slow and push up. Lower down slow. Push up one more. Walk it in. Up and overs for three. Nice job. We've got three commandos. High to low plank. If you want to modify, you'll keep the knees down, come to a low plank, push to a high. Down. One more time. Try to keep the hips super still. Don't let them rock all over the place. Nice job, bring it up. We've got four of everything. Hips back, arms back. Pop it forward. If you want to make it easier, We'll just take a big step, one leg and then the other. We got one more. Nice job. Four lay down push ups, knees or toes. Nice job. Four up and overs. Start with the hips down, up and over. Nice shot. Four commandos, bring it down. Knees or toes up to you, go from your high to your low plank. Nice shot. We're going to the top. We've got five of everything. Heart rate should be elevated. High intensity. Hips are back, arms are back. You've got five. One more. Good. Nice job. Woo. Catch your breath. Bring it down. We have five eccentric push ups. I'm modifying this time. I'm going to lower slow, push it up. Lower all the way down to the floor and then push it up. Nice job. We have five 
up and over. Start with the hips down and back. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice job. One more move. Five commandos. Knees or toes, high plank to low plank. Nice job. We're gonna take a short break. You made it to the top of the ladder. Congratulations. Take a moment to catch your breath and grab some water. Knowing that now that we made it to the top, we will bring it right back down. We'll start at the top. We'll start with five of everything and we'll bring it down to one. After we get one of everything, we'll take a break. And then we have one more block of work. It's all core leading into our cool down for a stretch. Take as much time as you need to let that heart rate normalize. It's intervals. We don't need our heart rate high the whole time. We need it to be high and we need it to be low. I'm gonna say I think in about 30 seconds, mine might be normal. We'll start with five. Five of those forward bounds. Yeah, let's go in 15 seconds. If you need longer, Please take a longer break and if you're ready to go, go for it. You can start without me. I'm gonna go in five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. I've got five forward bounds. All right, so we have five push-ups. Eccentric, lower, slow to the ground, all the way and then push it up. Nice, we have five up and overs. Starting with the hips down, arms down and come up and over. Three, four, and five, good. Whew. Commandos. High to low plank, knees or toes up to you. Just keep the hips super still. Great job, that was the longest. Round, we're making our way back down the ladder. Take a second, catch your breath if you need to, and then move into four. But four, lay down push up. We've got four up and overs. Find the hips down. One, two, three, and four. Nice job. Four commandos. You got this. It only gets easier. Nice job. Heart rate is high. We take it to three. When you are ready. Good. 
but three lay down push ups. Practice your form. You don't have to go fast. Nice shot. Three up and overs. Good. Three high and low planks. You got this. Stay with it. We're almost there. Knees or toes. Nice job. We're almost there, guys. We've got two of everything when you're ready. Two forward bound, two eccentric push up. Lower down slow. Two up and overs, hips down. Good. Two high to low plank, knees or toes. Nice job. We're almost there. We've got one of everything. Let's finish it strong. Good, high and low plank. And we take a short break. Nice job. Take a moment to finish up your ladder. And then take a few moments to let the heart rate settle. Nice work. High intensity is not always about jumping high or moving fast. We've got one more block of work, guys. It's a core block. We're gonna work some reverse crunches, some leg lifts. We've got some side planks. We've also got a bear crawl. Three moves. It is not timed. We are working by reps. We have 10 reverse crunch to a single leg raise. When you're ready, meet me on your back. We're gonna let that heart rate continue to come down and then we'll get started. Enjoy your break. You're gonna go about 15 more seconds and then I'll start with our core. Nice job, Parking. heart rate came down super quick when I got down. All right, hands behind the back, behind the head or out onto the mat. You're gonna bring the knees into the chest, roll it in and then lengthen the legs, bring it up, down, Roll them in. We've got 10 of those. Are you guys ready? That was one. They go out, up, and down. Bring them in and roll. That's two. Up, down, roll them in. That's three. Keep the low, black, the low back pressed into the mat. Good news is we only have one round of this. So go at your best. I'm at nine. 
and 10. Nice job. Relax to the mat. We're gonna take it to a tabletop position. We've got bear crawls. So we're gonna stay right here, but we'll lift our knees off of the mat just about an inch and we'll walk forward and back. We've got four at your own pace. Find your bear. Tabletop is right here. Palms underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. You lift the knees off the mat and from here, you crawl forward. That's one. Crawl it back. Go forward. This is two. Keep the knees as low as you can. Go forward. This is three. One more for four. Nice job. Take it down to your right hip. We've got one move left. It's a side plank. If you want to modify, you can leave the bottom knee down to the mat or take a full side plank. And if you can, we're going to add 10 hip dips, dropping your hip to the floor and bringing it back up. You can be on your forearm or on your palm, whatever works best for you. Find that side plank. From there, reach the top arm up and you're gonna dip down for 10. Nice job. We'll take it to the other side. This is starting our pull down. We will stretch it out before we go. Now, if you want to modify this, keep that bottom knee down. You'll lift into the side plank and you'll still drop the hip down for 10. Nice job. Let's take it to a tabletop, take the knees wide, big toes touch, sit the hips back to the heels, and let's start our cool down. We've got five minutes to stretch, and then you're good to go. Reach the arms out long, and let the head rest to the mat. Letting the heart rate come down, And relax. Nice work today, guys. High intensity interval training. Good, let's lift the hips. Walk the hands forward, bring the knees just behind the hips a little bit, and then we're gonna settle the hips down towards the mat. Be gentle. Give the body time to accept this position. And if this doesn't work for you, you can bring it down to the forearms. We're gonna take a couple of big deep breaths. And as you take the deep breath, feel the core stretch out. Very good, let's lift the hips, tuck the toes, and take it to a down dog. Pushing the hips high. We're gonna press the chest closer to the legs, feeling a stretch down the back of the arms, down the sides of the body. And then slowly press the heels down towards the mat. You'll feel the stretch go through the ankle up to the calf. And as you shoot the hips high, you can feel that stretch into the hamstring.
Very good. We're going to bring it to the knees. And take the legs out long in front. Turn it over. Sit very tall, reach the crown of your head to the ceiling, and then lean over the legs. Keep the spine nice and long. You're going to feel a stretch in the hamstring. Hold it here. The longer you hold the stretch, the more relaxed that muscle will become. Nice job. We're going to bend the right leg and keep it in front. We're going to bend the left and take it to the back. Now I want you to find an L on each leg. You want them to be at a 90 degree and then you're going to sit tall and walk the hands out front, folding over the right leg, finding a stretch in the right glute on the outside of that right hip. We've got just under four minutes of stretching. Please stick around and enjoy this. This is part of your workout. Recovery is super important. There is controversy about whether stretching keeps you from getting sore the next day or not, but ultimately, I like the stretch because it gives my mind a moment to downshift before I jump right into the next thing. So before I jump right back into work or before I jump right into my next activity of the day, I really like to let my body take in everything that it just did and relax for a minute, reset my mind. Good, we're gonna walk the hands in. You're gonna lift the knees up towards the ceiling and rotate to the left where the left leg is in front. Check that both legs are at a 90 degree and then set tall and fall over that left leg, finding the left glute stretch. Find that stretch and hold. We've got two and a half minutes. Stay with it. Very good, sit it tall. We're gonna open the legs up wide to a straddle. The toes are gonna to point up towards the ceiling and then you're gonna sit tall and lean forward. Keep the spine long. I'm not asking you to reach your forehead to the mat. I just want you to find the adductor stretch. And you don't have to go low to do that. Find that stretch and hold. Good, slowly bring it up. We're gonna bring the legs together. Slowly roll down to your back and tuck the knees to the chest. If you can, wrap the forearms around the knees stretching out through the low back, and then slowly just rock side to side, massaging the low back into your mat. Very good, slowly let the feet come to the mat. Take the legs out long and let the feet just fall open. Close the eyes, take a moment for a few easy rounds of breath. And roll on to your favorite side and help yourself up to a seat. Thank you so much for joining me today for high intensity interval training.